In the last video, I explained the error evaluation and weight updating parts of backpropagation. In this one, I'll be explaining the error propagation part, which is what allows for a neural network with more than two layers to adjust its weights. So summarizing last episode, you can evaluate the error of an output neuron by subtracting the output from the target output. If you then use the formula weight equals weight plus learning rate times error times input, you can adjust the weights to fit the target output. In the case of a larger neural network where there are more than two layers, there is one more simple step and that is error propagation. Think of error propagation as forward propagation, but backwards. And instead of propagating the input, you're propagating the error. So to get the error for our hidden layer neuron, you get the sum of all the errors on the next layer, multiplied by the weight connecting them. I'm going to assume we've already done the forward propagation part and go from there. In this network, all values are abstract. So to start with, we evaluate the error of the input. You then work out the error of the next layer by multiplying the error we calculated by the weight connecting the neurons. And repeat that with the other neurons. Now we do the weight updating. Remember, weight equals weight plus learning rate times error times input. If we substitute the values, that leaves us with 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.248 times 0 0.42 which is equal to 0 0.55208, which replaces that weight's old value of 0 0.5. You then repeat that with all the other neurons. What that'll do is make the neural network capable of reproducing this output value and others that you give it. That's the entire process of training and running a neural network. Up until this part, I've been making these neural network graphics by hand, which is quite impractical. In the coming videos, I will show you how to make these and other types of neural networks in the programming language Python. I would recommend learning this language if you want to follow along in the practical videos. It is an extremely useful and versatile language, so it is a worthwhile investment of time regardless of what you mostly make. There are plenty of resources out there, so I won't be teaching the base language. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and check out some of my other videos. If you haven't already, subscribe and enable notifications so you can know whenever I upload. See you in the next video.